Hi, welcome to Joint Decor Designs. Today I'll be showing you how to make a basic tutu. Today, for your tools, you will need scissors, tuna material, color of your choice, and waistband. We use waistband. I love using this instead of the elastic waist because you are able to layer the tutu with this. Love it. Get it. Hobby Lobby, $2.99. Catch on sale. Um, 50% off and you want to pay a dollar and fifty cents for it you can get as many as maybe six tutus out of this uh roll right here so that's a great deal and it save you lots of money so invest well um i also had to cut cut 15 inches of tulu material um i needed 76 cuts uh so let's get started and I'll show you guys how to do a tutu. Okay. Take one tutu. One tulu material. Sorry, tutu. <laughs> one tulu material. And thread. I like to start from the back. So Thread it from third start from the back. It's easier than you go around. Thread it into the hole. Pull it out. Oops. Pull it out. Thread it in the hole. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm trying to show you guys. Thread it to the hole. Loop it. I mean, get loop. Pull it through. That's it. That's all. I'll show you guys again. Give me a second. Um, okay, again, you fold it so you go into your fold first hole. See, go through your first hole right here. Let me see if I can use one hand because I, I'm recording as I'm working. Okay, hold on just a second. Let me thread it first. Okay, you put it through this first hole right here. Then you bring it up to the second hole. See? Bring it up to the second hole. Then you pull it. Pull it. Then you see your this hole right here. This is where you loop it. Loop it. Pull it through. Make sure it's even. You pull this through this hole right here. And you pull down. Kind of remind me of crochet. That's how you would do it. You just crochet it through. So I hope that helped out a lot so i'm gonna try to do as many as i possibly can then i'm gonna uh, cut the video because it's gonna be a long video if i show the entire thing you know what why not let's do this okay okay so you loop it all the way around and see so you have a full tutu skirt sure how long this will take. I think it take me maybe like 30 minutes or sometime out. It depends on how big and how long, how, I'm sorry, how wide and how long the start is. And it depends on your speed. I've been doing this for like, what, four to five years now. So, I'm pretty fast at it. Since I have everything cut, that helps out a whole lot. So I do advise you to cut the material before you start. And you just pull it through, thread it through, pull the two pieces right here, through the hole, and pull. Simple as one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. 
guys have any questions please leave in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back with you guys show you guys uh, one more time how you loop it okay there you go see it's almost there you guys okay. the back is just about done really hope this helps someone especially like beginners because I remember starting off and I didn't have the help and it's like when you inbox people and, and ask them about information they don't want to give it to you so I'm just doing this to be a blessing to someone and hopefully help someone to start their own business you know there's nothing like being your own boss working for yourself yeah, it's a hustle, but it's, a, it's worth it. You enjoy doing what you do. And this is so there, therapeutic. I love doing this. I love it, I love it, I love it. God has blessed me with this talent, and I am running with it. You know, we all have gifts and talents. And uh, it's up to us to use them and take advantage of them. It or, or, or many, many, the many more you have. We have many gifts and talents. It's up to us to take advantage of it. So, as you guys can see, I did a lot. daughter run through the screen she's gonna get Very simple, very easy. I mean, if you want to use the uh, elastic waist, you more than have to do so. And um, the only thing about that is um, you got to know the exact measurement of the child because uh, the elastic weight, waist, you don't want it to be to fall off the child, you know. Want to be when they put the outfit on, you want it to look nice and presentable. And, you know, that's that's your that's your name you're putting out there, so you don't want to put nothing tacky out. As you guys can see, pretty fast, and I'm just about halfway done. I learn how to edit my videos <laughs> and get much better at this. I can, uh, I'll figure it out as the time goes by. And, uh, you know, I'm just here to help the next person that's trying to. 
start them start their business or just just or someone that's just want to make a quick tutu for their daughter at home instead of paying someone for it. So it's like I said, it's really simple, it's easy. So make sure that the tutu is even. As you can see, my cuts on my fabric, they are all the same size. Um, once I am done, I do uh, go over the tutu and make sure there's like no pieces hanging or, you know, pieces that's not even with one another. So I do cut that off so it can look nice and pretty and full and not tacky. post a video of the finished product of the entire outfit that I done. I'm learning as I go to, even though I've been doing this for quite some time. But you learn new information every day. And um, don't be afraid to ask. Don't feel like, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I'm scared to ask, or I feel stupid if I ask that. You know, you are your worst critic, so ask away. You know, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Be consistent. So as you can see, there's your skirts coming all together, and then this much left so I'm just about done and when I get towards the end I'll show you guys how to loop it again for those that didn't catch it at the beginning I'll show you guys how to loop it again a crochet you know to crochet some hair you can most definitely do this sorry for the noise in the background that's my air conditioner it's loud You guys can see I'm just about done and if you want you can add a third layer of the tutu to give it more volume and more puffiness okay I'm towards the end wait a minute and um I'm gonna show you guys how to do it again do this I got the one more top layer and when I get towards the end I'll show you guys again make sure you thread every hole every hole okay. now I still have this top layer to do I just do two two layers, that's it. You wanna do three? You know, that's that's great. And once I'm done, I also put a string around the waist. That way when the customer receives the item, um the, the waist is strength stretchable. Put the string around the waist. I'll show you guys how to do that too. 
it helps keep it up on the child. I'm gonna use tulip material to put around the waist, and I'll show you guys. And that's just to hold the waist up, so when the child have the tooth on, it won't be falling off her. So I will show you guys how to do that as well. before you start. It helps out a whole lot. It's cutting. Cutting, man, that's a lot. It's like a lot of time. Especially when you begin. Oh my goodness. I used to have my daughter, my oldest, my uh, teenager help me out. <clears throat> I pay her, uh, pay her to cut the material for me now her doing that help especially when I have so many orders and I still have to do it from time to time but if you have little ones that can help you out and that's old enough to cut and, you know they can help you out as well okay you guys I am down to two slots so what I do is show you guys again how I do it the second slot I thread it in the first hole thread it through that first hole pull it through open wide pull the two strings through and pull I'll do it again too hard because you uh, rip the elastic. Okay, and there is a finished product. There you go. That's the finished product. Okay, so what I do is cut to make sure each, each, each everything is even. So cut it. Cut as you go. shredded part of the tooth. Let me cut that part. Don't overdo it. Okay? Just cut that part right there. That part is sticking out. Okay? Cut that. And so you go all the way around. have a, a mannequin you can always use like a base that's what I that's what I was using at the beginning and it helped me out so much the base that I was uh 
that I had in my uh, living room that had marbles in it. So I used to use that. But bought this mechanic, I mean mannequin, sorry, mannequin on uh, Amazon for $50. So if you're trying to figure out where to get it from, uh, Amazon.com, $50 mannequin. They have all sizes. Okay, so here we are right here. Here's the finished product. We have a nice show you how to pull the string through the, through the holes for the waist. as the skirt or you can just oil it or you can use white the same as the elastic it's up to you so what I do is pull this as long as I possibly can go towards the back put it loop it in a hole see loop it in one of the holes and thread it through to each hole. Did you see that? Put in each hole. Just thread it through each hole. Just thread it through each hole. Each hole. See how I'm doing it? Just thread it through. Move it through each hole. Just to the child waist, even though the the, uh, the material is stretchable, but you want it to fit the child to a T. So you loop that string around their waist, and okay, I'm, just, I'm done. So I looped it all the way around, as you guys can see. Hold on, just a second. This kind of hold on, just a second. I'm gonna fix that. see the string is looped all the way around see all the way around loop it all the way around just loop it and when you're done you have two strings okay you cut it I cut it to that length that way I can open the tutu wide and then the, uh, the child, the mom, whoever putting the tutu on the child can pull the string, you know, as tight as she wanted for that child to fit the tutu how it's supposed to be fitting. Okay, so what I do next is cut it evenly. Like this. this video helped you out a whole lot uh, make sure you subscribe 
and watch out for my next videos. Have a blessed day.